All right. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Demon Souls. All right. Let's finish off this first little section, eh? Doopie doopie doo. This is a trap. I don't know who springs it, but I will do so. <laughs> Undone by your own hubris. Excellent. All good? All good in the hood? I still wish to ride you. Please join me. What do you like? Cow? Goat? Can't do human. Too many problems. <laughs> no. Fame. Ignore me. Or just an overgrown kitty. All right. So, hello, mates. What we got? Get first. Ow. You think the shield makes you safe? You think you the reach gives you the edge? But you don't got the metal. Okay, so you can go down here to where the dragons are hanging out. Which is a very dumb idea. I would not recommend it. Because Red Boy over there will just toast you. There's a lot of sweet gear, but they will leave here eventually after you beat the first demon. So, you know, all things in time, right? Of course, when you go over this way, Red Boy still somehow knows you're coming that way. And he will burn you alive if you stray too far. So what I'm gonna try to do here is to kite all these enemies towards me. Because the big danger here... Did I saw that. You ain't getting off so easy. Oh, I hear wings. How about we run away? Okay, so what I want to do is kite the enemies, like trail them back, so that I can pick them off one by one, and I don't have to get burnt crispy. Is he gonna burn? Nah, okay. He just, he's just uh, marking his territory, showing me what's up. Okay. We're gonna be tactical about this. That way we make it through unscathed. Come along then. Ooh, halberd dude. Yep, your priority. I said that and then I targeted the other guy. I don't have to hold up my end of the bargain. I just say whatever's convenient for me. Now then. Come along. I hear more wings. Are you coming over here, bro? Oh, you are. I see. Yes, yes. You're all barking, no burn. Mates, I'm rather cross that you keep feathering me. That hurts, you know. Oh yeah, run away. You do that. I didn't even want to deal with you anyway. Ow. Oh damn, three at a time. Well, this should be interesting. Come along. Hey! No fire bombs. Cheap little. Mm. I'm gonna die. <laughs> nope. Enough with that defeatist talk, Sam. Fuck him up! I am a Souls veteran, players. You were screwed the moment you pissed me off. Two for one! Right. Choke a bit. And then... He took off. I don't like when you do that. 
Like, I feel like maybe we could not, you know? Pushka. Enough of that. Alright, mates, come on. I don't have all day. Jaggy's coming back after all. Please, for to move swiftly. Dickhead. Alright. We paying attention now. Excellent. Do 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 do. Rumpa dum pa dum. Rumpa dum pa dum. What? Uh oh. You all you almost had me there. Okay, props. I can appreciate when you are being creative. For the killing me thing, not so much. Right. Wait. Hmm. Nope. Couldn't tell if he was landing or taking off. The wing sounds are very much the same. <laughs> okay, I should be able to dodge past these dudes. Now. Yep. Not a problem. Although my first time playing, I was so toasty that I could have replaced the dude in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay. Eh. I'm not even gonna bother. Let's just move it on, yeah? Throw the lever! And yes, I am quite sure this is the right lever. Can I take that to be the demon equivalent of a glove across the face? Because if so, challenge accepted. Alright. This is a thing. More turpentine. All the turpentine. I'm on want it. Stop. Could you come out here, please? I'm not gonna fight you until you come outside. There we go. You take this outside, what? Alright! Thank you for obliging my wishes, gentlemen. Beauty doo. Now, where's the other dude? Ah, hello. Enough of that. How are you not dead? Stop with the not deadness! Fine. There. I know you're lurking there. I've played this game before. I love the creature designs in this. They always tickle the right evolutionary triggers to let you know. <laughs> okay. Now these dudes throw spears at you, they're tough to get around. They got that big ass shield and they weak to fire. Observe.
But you can't solve all your problems with firebombs. Sometimes you do need the skill. Yes, their positioning on the map makes it tricky to hack at their weak backside sometimes. I ain't letting you get in my head. I am in your head. Or more accurately, my mace is in your head. But you know, details. All right, and here's the other side of the entryway. Here we go. You know, I do believe I have enough time in this episode. So why not? Let's fight our first demon. I got enough grass, I got enough firebombs, I got enough turpentine. All right, mates, here's the strategy. I'm gonna run to the left, hide behind the column, let it approach me, let it get a little bit too cocky, then I'm gonna light my weapon ablaze with the turpentine, and run around and start throwing firebombs at its back. Whack until it dies. Sound good? Okay, good. Phalanx, the first demon. Man, I would not want to go down a dark alley and find that coming at me, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Come on, then! Firebomb! All the boomers! I gotta get all these things dead so that I can hack at the soft core. They regenerate from the near core, so it's tricksy. Tricksy troublesome. I think it makes more of them, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep hurling firebombs until I'm out. Alright! Bueno! Sate! Karyuno! Check in! Look at that damage. It's a thing of beauty. This is how the demon hunters do it. You got less protection, Ulang San. Oops. Let myself get flanked. Poor practice, what? Not good for the kids. Not good for anyone. Is my weapon on fire anymore? Have to fix that. There we go. Get out of my way. Stop pretending you're interesting. You! You cut my eye. Back to the course, babe. The old one was not the way to go. Alright. Collecting all the things. All the goodness. Do 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 ba do 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 And there's the art stone. Now the art stones are great, they allow you to just warp to where you've killed demons and continue the level. Lead demon soul. The soul of phalanx. What does it do again? No, I want to see the item description, there we go. Okay, doesn't say anything special. Anyway, you could use this to make a powerful spear called the scraping spear. A mini version of that one it hurled outside. And if you're a spear user, you can't ask for much better, because it literally just scrapes away dude's armor. Uh, I am not, however, so I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> okay. And now, more importantly, when we return to the Nexus, the Maiden in Black appears, giving us the option to level up. Yo! 
I killed the demon. I did it. The monumental awaits the above. Oh right, I gotta talk to him first. Yeah. You know, it took me forever to actually find the guy. Because he's not actually like in the center of the room. He's off to the side and he's short. And <laughs> he looks like part of the wall. <laughs> ah well. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Well, that's for next time then. But first of all, as I mentioned before, there's that annoying world tendency factor. So if I don't want it to affect my game difficulty, then I literally just have to jump to my death here. Because it doesn't count. <laughs> For whatever reason. It, it's just silly. You should not incentivize people to go cliff diving. Not good for the kids. Oh well. Geronimo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's so mad. There we go. Now I have all my stuff back. Very important, that. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next time. Next time the world opens up a bit more. We can visit more worlds through different art stones. I believe the mages and the priests have appeared. Uh, you know, stuff will just be happening. More stuff. Good stuff. So. Thank you all for tuning in, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.